Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to design steel connections using RAM Connections Standalone. RAM Connections Standalone is used for the design and detailing of steel connections. It can design individual shear, moment, brace, splice, and truss connection types to a variety of different steel design codes. In this particular video, we will be focusing on the workflow for assigning a fully directly welded connection to a beam splice joint. We will now turn our attention to the RAM Connection Standalone application, where we will begin our workflow for designing a fully directly welded combined connection to a beam splice joint. As you can see, I've already created two different beam splices within this model. One is a straight beam splice and the other is an apex style. Now we will be assigning a fully directly welded combined connection to these joints. Since this type of connection is a combined connection, it can handle both shear and moment reactions, which is perfect for my particular joints because I do have both a shear and a moment reaction imposed upon them. Let's go ahead and start with joint number five, which is our straight beam splice joint. Now to access the fully directly, directly welded beam splice template, we can go to the templates area on your screen or utilize a smart connection design workflow. To access the smart connection design workflow, we're gonna select the design tab in the ribbon toolbar, click on the assign option, and then go to the smart connections. I'm gonna scroll down until I find the smart, fully directly welded beam splice command. After I select that option, I can see that the shear and moment connection have been assigned to this joint. So let's go ahead and click close. Now the first thing I'm gonna do after assigning my connection template is to take a look in the joint selection area. Here I'll be able to see the status of my connection design. For this particular joint, the interaction ratio is less than 1.0 and the indicator light is in green, meaning that the connection was assigned to the joint and no errors or warnings were encountered. Now, if you'd like some further information on any of the calculations or to customize this connection design, you can go to the connection pad. To access the connection pad, click on the design tab in the ribbon toolbar, click on the edit icon, and then edit your combined connection. This will bring up the connection pad where you'll be able to see all of the moment flange and web welded information. You can see that by default, it goes with a fillet weld, but you can also change that to a full penetration weld. And you can adjust the weld size and the plate thickness and material. Now, if you'd like some additional information, we can go to the results area to review the steel connection report. Here, you'll be able to see all the geometric considerations and the design checks that were performed during this process. If you'd like some additional information on the connections, if you'd like some additional information on the calculations, click on the View Formulas icon to see all the formulas and variables that were used to arrive at these results. Let's go ahead and close out of the connection report, and let's also take a look at the DXF view of this connection. Here you'll be able to see all the welding and detailing that will be required and is available for your DXF drawing. Now, if you made any changes, you can go ahead and click on the save icon. But for me, I'm happy with the default connection considerations. So I'm gonna just go ahead and close out of the connection pad. Now, as I mentioned, this type of connection can also be used for an apex beam splice. So now I'm gonna go ahead and select joint number six. Let's go back to the assign icon and go to our smart connection design workflow. Here instead, I'm gonna select a smart, fully directly welded beam splice apex option. RAM connection has assigned the connection type. And if I take a look in the joint selection area, I'd be able to see that it did pass all code checks. Again, if I'd like to review the information in the connection pad, I click on the edit icon and then go to your combined connection, where again, you can adjust the weld type, the plate thickness, and material. Now at this point, this concludes my process for assigning a 
fully directly welded combined connection to a beam splice within RAM connection standalone. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.